Hi Arya, Travis in here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we proved ourselves as a Blood Knight Initiate by going to the Isle of Tribulation and slaying another Blood Knight Initiate. After that, we got Maru's Essence, and we used it to revive the Blood Knight Initiate that we slain. So, that was an interesting episode. And now we have the spell Redemption, so we're able to res other players. And today we're going to be getting our first aid up. I also put some stuff on the auction house yesterday, so we'll check and see how that's going. So I'm going to be making some linen bandages today, and then eventually we will hearth down to Triquillion, and I will continue questing there. Yeah, we're leveling up quite fast. It's been pretty good. So let's check the bank. Hopefully we got some sales. Looks like our Willow Belt of Intellect sold. 55 silver. But this stuff didn't sell, so that's too bad. I'm gonna go back on the auction house and put this stuff back up. And that puts us at a gold 37. Which is alright. But not enough to get the bags that I want. So let's see if this is up here. Oh, gold 45. Let's see if we can sell for a gold 44. So we'll undercut that. And then we have the flesh. No no bad flesh on the auction house. Let's put it up for uh, 30 silver, see if it sells. And rotting hearts. Looks like we could sell uh looks like we could sell five for eighty silver. I think that's a deal. Might be a little too cheap. Maybe we should go 90. There we go. And we're done that. So let's uh let's make some of the some of these bandages quick. And then I'll have a chat with the Silver Moon City Guard and we'll go find the first aid trainer. We'll try to get our linen bandages at least up to heavy linen. That should help a lot during our travels around Tranquillion. Because I've had some trouble with healing. It, Holy Light takes a lot of mana away from me, so I think it's much better if I start using the bandages instead. But yeah, we got some RP going on on the Shaman and the Hunter. Since they're on RP servers, I felt like giving an, giving an RP add-on a try, and I hope uh, we get some RP going. All right, well, we had a little power outage while we were crafting the linen cloth, so that was too bad. But the good thing is, is that we it's back up here. now. And we are going to head to Profession trainer for first aid. So let's head over there. We will have justice. Yeah, we've had a little thunderstorm here, so it's uh it's kind of rough, but it is what it is. You know, can't not much I can do there, but whatever. So let's uh head over to the head over here to the first aid trainer, and I will upgrade our first aid here. We will persevere. So let's see what we can get. Let's see if we can get heavy linen bandage. That is awesome. So let's start making some of those. We'll make as many as we can. To get journeyman first aid we need level 50, so we should be there pretty soon. Okay, so should we be able to get it? Yeah, there we go. Now we can get journeyman first aid. And that's good. So I'll make a couple of these. Pretty much got what we needed. I don't think we'll be able to get the next rank of first aid. So, uh, yeah. Let's Hold hurt. Your head high. Let's hurt the Tranquillion. Hmm. 
And I'm gonna sell these old linen bandages. Because I don't really see, like, a point in holding on to them. Might as well get some coin for them. Probably won't use them at all. There we go. We got a little bit of coin for that. And then we'll put the heavies here. And I think we have this to sell. And we're good with everything else. Keep your wits So up. let's get a move on here. Well, we still have some buffs ready. Let's get buffed up as well. Get that blessing of Mike going. We'll have a chat with Magister Derenis. Our enemies will fall. Cinderai and Forsaken share a common goal in the Ghostlands Travadon. Together we shall defeat the Scourge, and who knows, perhaps the Forsaken will be valuable allies in our quest to reach Outland. Salvaging the past. Can you believe it? We have an actual functioning arcane sanctum up and running southeast of here. The Sanctum of the Sun. All, all manner of, of important magisters have come to take part in running it. Of course, they've all gotten about the Sanctum of the Moon. Not much remains of it, and its energies have given rise to bizarre creatures. I'm not one to let good resources go to waste, however. Go to the Sanctum of the Moon and see if you can recover the crystallized essences from the creatures there. Alright, so it looks like we gotta go to the Sanctum of the Moon. Remember the sun well. Fight some creatures that are around it. And then we will head over here. We'll have a chat with Wrath as Tomber. Hello. Ah, hello there, Blood Elf. As you can see, I'm not open for business quite yet. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm very busy. How am I supposed to supply the war effort when I cannot even safely get my supplies here? I was promised an escort that never came, and then I had to leave one of my carts behind to the west when I was attacked by a band of ghouls. Want to help me out and get me open for business in the process? Go down the western road out of town and past the graveyard. On the other side of the dead scar is a fork in the road. The hill that my cart had to be left on lies just beyond. Okay, so let's uh, Trust no one. head over and go find his cart. And then we'll uh, go to the Sanctum of the Moon, which I believe is just around where he left his cart. So I kind of right here. So let's, let's go find... We'll find his cart first. I think that's a good idea. And then we'll deal with the Sanctum of the Moon. There's the ghouls. But yeah, I did try the RP add-on here. I checked it out. So I was thinking about doing it for the Paladin. But, um... There was nobody on. Like, on the server. Like, nobody has the add-on. Which I wasn't surprised. The one thing that's kind of surprised me, though, about it is that there was only five people that had it. In, uh on Grobulus, which is an RP server. So I'm starting to wonder if they still use the add-on there, or do they... You know? Did they switch? Maybe there's a new, a new one? Who knows? There's an Arcane Devourer here, so let's attack this guy. I'll track one of these quests. Track both, I guess. Looks like we're pretty damn strong for this Devourer over here. Tense mana crystal. It's another one. Looks like we're at the Sanctum of the Moon now. So I think we get we got an essence, didn't we? Oh, we got a condensed mana essence. And it restores mana. Let's use that. There we go. So now we got a crystallized one. So looks like those guys drop what we want. Gotta watch out, though. Getting kind of low on health. Let's kick this. Let's heal up. Also, uh, Diablo 
Resurrection, well, Diablo 2, the remaster, I guess you can call it. They're calling it Resurrected. The betas came out today, and supposedly if you have the game pre-ordered, you can play it. Thinking about getting it, but I'm not too sure. I never uh, really played much Diablo 2. I kind of started playing Diablo and Diablo 3. I was thinking about checking it out. It would be pretty much completely new for me, which is kind of cool. I believe he said his uh, supplies are around here. Western Road out of town, past the graveyard, on the other side of the Dead Scar. So we're on the other side of the Dead Scar. We're past the graveyard. So it should be around here. So I guess we'll just fight ghouls while we search. Okay, so that looks... There we go. There's his supplies. Looks like we found the supplies, guys. Alright, so let's see if we can get these. Can use a bandage again. I hope we don't get, like, ambushed after we pick it up. Alright, well there we go. We got Raz's Tomber's supplies. I guess we'll head over to uh, the Sanctum of the Moon now. We will see what's going on there. Also, supposedly the lead developer uh, for Diablo 4 uh, got removed from Blizzard, or removed from his role. I don't know if that's true, but if it is, that's not good news for Diablo 4. And I hope they take their time with that game, because I'm really hoping that game's actually pretty good. And I think they have time to wait, because I believe uh, Diablo 2 Resurrected should... Um, should keep the player base happy for a little bit. All right, so let's have a drink here. Oops. Fucked up there. Drink again. Yeah, I hope Diablo 4 is good. I'm looking forward to that game more than I am looking forward to Diablo 2. I think that's just because I wasn't really a, a big fan of Diablo 2 when I was a kid. Played more StarCraft and uh, Warcraft 3. It's more, more into like RTS and shooters. Again, these crystal essences pretty damn fast. Doesn't look like there's anything special really in this. Uh... In this sanctum. We can go up a floor, it looks like. Yeah, not much here. So I'm gonna bandage up. So how did he get up there? Usually there's like an orb here that like transports you up. But I wonder how they get up there. I guess we'll have to explore a little bit.
Alright, so it looks like there's, like, no way up there. That's so weird. Like, why can't I get up there? Maybe you gotta have flying, but I don't think you're allowed to fly in Az- like, in Azeroth. In Outland, you can fly. In Azeroth, you can't. Like, there's no stairway up there, so it's gotta be either inside or... These guys really drain your mana. Oh, nice, we got a staff. It's another BOE. Two-handed staff, one spirit, one two stamina, not too shabby. Oh, getting chased down by a mana shifter, and he's draining our mana. Start draining your mana. Alright, so let's go inside quick. I gotta have a drink anyways, you gotta drink a lot when you're fighting these guys. Yeah, there's literally no way up. Maybe once, I don't know, maybe once I uh, do this quest, maybe he'll be like, Hey, install a, uh, an orb here so you can get up. <laughs> I, I doubt it. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, it makes you wonder. So I'll go this way and we'll see what we can find. Like the dense mana. Crystal gives her mana back. Kick that. Not taking our mana today. Yeah, there's no way up. I'm not 100% certain, but... Kind of coming to the conclusion that that may be the case. If I get, like, a, a look from further out, I can figure it out. can't kick this. Yeah, we can. No! Got our mana. But we do have a condensed mana crystal. It's on cooldown. Oh, nice. Got a... A male chest plans. I think that's for, uh... For blacksmithing. Yeah. I wonder if that'll sell. Let's have another drink. One day we'll figure out how to get up here. It's got to be a teleport, I think. back, so should be able to kick him if he tries to take our mana. Just not up there. There we go. We got Cadet Gauntlets. We are now finished the quest. Let's see if those gauntlets are any good. Well, they're worse than the ones we have. We have green ones. That's beating us up pretty bad. Just about to lose our uh, our buffs over here. Oh, nice. We can pick up uh, Mage Royales now. 
And there's a loser ad. I wonder if we'll ever fight this guy. Oh no. This isn't good. Oh, we're pulling too much stuff. Here we go. I think oh, we gotta just get out of here. Hodge one. May have to use lay on hands. Got my hand on the button. Yeah, we're lay on hands. Here we go. This guy wants to fight them. Can finish him off. Another rotting heart. They actually sell for a decent amount, like 17 silver each. It's not bad. At my level, it's not bad, but if you're like a higher level, it's not that good. Alright, so let's go back to Tranquility and we'll turn these quests in. Don't think we'll get level 16, though. I don't think the rewards were that good either. Like four silver and five silver. That's all right. and Tranquillion. And here we go. Let's turn this quest in to Magister Durenis. Maybe you'll tell us why we can't get up there. Salvaging the past. Did you obtain the essences, Travadin? These are remarkably powerful, Travadin. I'm pleased with your work. Farewell. Alright, so I guess that's it. All right, maybe we'll never get to figure out how to climb to the top of the Sanctum of the Moon. Have a chat with Rathus Tomber. Exactly what you need. Just as soon as I get the rest of my supplies, I'll be open for business. The forces here aren't going to get very far if they can't purchase what they need to ply their trades. War zones can be such profitable places, wouldn't you agree, Paladin? Now, did you manage to fight your way to my cart through all of those ghouls? Well, they should be giving us more silver. With the rest of my supplies here, I can finally open up shop. I'm sure that the High Executor will be most pleased to hear that the War of Darkan and the Scourge can commence. And of course, there's a small matter of your recompense. Very well, Paladin. Here is the coin that I alluded to. Do be sure to drop by should you find yourself in need of any trade goods. Our time will come. He wants to get his money back, smart guy. We literally saved his business. I'm surprised he didn't give us any other quests. I'm surprised we didn't get any other quests from both of them, actually. But that is the end of today's episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.